Hello, my scrappy friends. How are you? Look who's back for another little haul video twice in one week. What's up with that? Um, so I can get very long winded. I'm going to just do this quickly and I've split my latest, um, my latest purchases into two. So I'm going to do one video on just the paper stuff and one video on the embellishments because look, look how many there are. And I don't want you taking a whole hour out of your day just to watch the stuff that I bought because who has time for that? Right? <laughs> okay, so let me do this quick like this. So in the last little while, I have been ordering um, a lot of online stuff, as most of us have, um, because... A lot of stores still aren't open. I shouldn't say that, not a lot of stores, but two scrapbook friends, which is where I order a lot of stuff because it's semi, um, semi local. They have decided um, not to open back up yet because of COVID. So everything they're doing is online. And then the other stores I'm trying to support local are across Canada and uh, kind of hard for me to get to, obviously. <laughs> um, and some stuff is just Michael's. So you'll see. Um, Let's start randomly here. Speaking of Michaels, they had, um, I love when they do their clearance. They had these things for um, something ridiculous, like 90% off. So it was only a dollar for this mini rainbow sand variety pack. And I figured that I can do this, um, just use them on top of things like cupcakes or anything like that or sand, like I can maybe, I don't know, use the brown for sand or the blue for water, whatever, something, something will come to me. But for a buck something, I thought, heck yeah. And I have two of those, why can I only find one? It's in here somewhere. Um, along with that, they had this sand and sparkle variety pack for two something, which is ridiculous. So again, I'll just add that to my little stash. I've never made shakers, so maybe I can use this to make some shakers in my scrapbooking. Now that is something I've not done and I'd love to. There you go, I just found a, a reason for them. Oh, here's the other package, so I'll just put that there. So that was random stuff from Michaels. Um, also Michaels, my little guy got his first official proper baseball bat and glove um, and ball this year. So daddy took him out to buy that and I have some cute pictures of them. So there's some baseball um, stickers. Um, my dear daughter graduated from grade eight in June. So I just picked up these and here they are. I've already posted the layout um, on Instagram and on my Facebook and stuff where I used many of these things. Um, and I, I think these are actually meant to be for posters or something because they're quite large but regardless it turned out cute I like them and they had their fall stuff this was a couple of weeks ago they had their fall stuff buy two get one free so I got this cute little thing from Sticko it's adorable and I still have a lot of um fall pictures from when they were smaller my kids when they were smaller that I can scrap I also found this that I completely fell in love with. I'm not a huge Halloween person. I really am not. I'm a fall person all the way, but Halloween, not really. But I do have pictures of my kids dressed up. So I thought this would be cute. These are kind of flocked. I don't know if you can tell. They're dimensional, but they're kind of flocked. That's so cute. Um, What else? Sticko. These are like really cute. Nothing fancy, but they're so cute. These are actually, you could get them at, at Michael's, but I ended up getting these at, um, oh God. Was this also Scrapbooking Oasis? I can't even remember now. I really can't remember. But anyway, they're adorable little candles for birthday layouts. Um, yeah, you know what? I think this was some stuff from Scrapbooking Oasis. I don't really think it matters, but... If you really need me to find out, I definitely can. These are adorable, $2.99 for these uh, white birthday little phrases and words, adorable. And then a while back, a few months ago, I picked these up, the 49 in market in blue, because they look like water dots. 
And I got the pink ones. I don't know why I got the pink ones, but I just love them. I could sit and stare at this package all day long. So they don't look like water or anything, but they're going to work for something, I'm sure. They are adorable. Um, what else? This was something that I actually picked up at Michael's. Not Michael's, Walmart. I actually cannot stand going to Walmart, but my daughter wanted me to go, and I hadn't been there seriously probably since last December. So I went, and I was very disappointed in their scrapbooking supplies because they have pretty much three pads of paper and a couple of stickers, like letter stickers, and that's it in the Walmart that I went. So not impressed. However, I did find these ever so cute donuts, these little puffy boingy donuts in the card section. So I bought those. They're adorable. And they were only three something. That. And let's see. This is, I believe now I'm mixing in some stuff that I got at Two Scrapbook Friends recently. So here are, this is the second time I'm ordering this, Simple Stories, Bits and Pieces, Magical Birthday, because I am in love with everything Simple Stories, and I'm in love with this collection. Look how cute that is. So that. Um, I also got this adorable jingle all the way, ephemera, and look at them, how adorable. Sweet. You know what, guys? I'm going to sit down. My back is sore. <laughs> Getting old. Okay, so what else can I show you here? Um, more simple stories. These were a good deal. And I always like enamel dots. My little Nouveau drops don't really turn out nice. I know they're supposed to look like this, but they look more like, like chocolate chips, chocolate chipettes or whatever you call them um so yeah I still buy my enamel dots even though I have all kinds of colors of um, Nouveau drops ah uh, this is cute again not a huge Halloween fan but how can you not want these adorable so these are called spooky they are so cute and lord knows what Halloween's gonna look like this year during corona time yay um, Jen Hadfield, The Avenue, these are really, really pretty and really, really thick. Adorable. That's what you get in there, 50 cardstock pieces. They're very pretty. Um, I ended up getting two of these Paige Evans. What are these ones called? These are just 50 embellishments. Um, oh, from Go the Scenic Route. Sorry about that. Look how pretty. And I figured... I could easily go through two packages of this. They're just adorable and so versatile. So two of those. Then I got another. I had already used up um, pretty much all of this. The Bloom Street from Paige Evans, Pink Paisley. I had already used up a bunch of them, so I grabbed myself another one. And they're adorable. See all that? My American friends, you... Are going to cringe aren't you when you see that because I've seen you guys show this <sighs> for half the price don't get me started my Australian sisters and ones from New Zealand can certainly relate because I believe that we all pay very high prices for scrappy supplies right leave a comment down below if that is the case I've heard it before um, this is adorable playful pets dogs from DCWV and the funny thing is, I thought I had put the cat one in my cart, and suddenly the dog one appears, which is perfectly fine. I don't have a dog. We'd love a dog. We don't have one, but my in-laws do. So I get to take a lot of pictures with their cute little doggies. Okay, let me speed up before this takes too long. Um, what is this? This is adorable. Again, Halloween, American Crafts, mwahahaha. <laughs> Um, those beautiful black shiny words. Adorable. So I got that. These are sweet little puffies from the Avenue Jen Hadfield. Really cute. Um, then Paige Evans. These are very pretty. I, I love this blue. This is just, oh wow, so pretty. So I got these, and then very similar to those are the Fifth and Monica ones from Pink Paisley. Black and white. 
I love them. They're really tiny, so they're really, really small, but I think you could do wonders with these on your pages. <laughs> um, here's something that I picked up. These are so cheesy that they just make me smile. Something I picked up on Amazon. Look how adorable these are. These are old. Like These go back like probably, where did I see the date? I don't even know, but these go way back. I'm pretty sure this is not a new thing, but they're so funny. I take pictures of my kids when they lose their teeth or go to the dentist. I am that mom. <laughs> so I've already done a cute layout using some of these. So I bought two. I had one, then I bought another one on Amazon. Um, speaking of letters, just a little tiny package for a buck 25 at Dollarama, a nice silver. I've got this in glitter, gold, red, blue, green, I think, and silver. And now I got one of these. And this is a really unique shade of pink. I don't know if the camera's even picking up on it. It's like a, like a flesh tony pink. It's not pinky. It's not peachy. It's really pretty. They call it rose. And I like that font. It's really cute. So I'll see what I can do with that. Um, I have already bought so many of these, the Simple Stories, just the foam color vibe um, alphas. They're adorable, and I love yellow. It's my favorite color ever, so I think I'll put these to good use. Very cute. This is gorgeous. Rainbow. I love this, but how? why is it called rainbow? They're all white. I don't get it. Anyway. Um, and I was missing the two L's in here. Can you believe it? So two scrapbook friends, they didn't send me a new package. They just sent me two little letters. So I've stuck them in there. For some reason, they weren't even in the package, like dropped to the bottom or anything. Anyway, strange, but that has a lot on it. So like that package goes an awful long way. So, so pretty. This I am in love with. This is Second Avenue. Isn't that pretty? And it's like that nice gold, not the very yellow gold. It's like the, the gold gold. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's that yellow gold that I just don't like, but this one is beautiful. So there's that. And these, again, my dear beloved Simple Stories. I just love these. Jingle all the way, the foam stickers. Look how pretty. They're adorable. I love these. So there's that. And what else do I have here? Oh, these are random. These are adorable. These are the little brads. And I know brads aren't very in anymore, but I like them. And these are sweet. I think I'm going to use them for when we make Christmas cookies. Very sweet. Sugar cookies. Um, well, I'll show you this. It's kind of a mess. <laughs> the Vicky Booten sticker book uh what's this one called is there a name to it i don't see a name to it but this is what's in it look how cute there's so much you can use in there and there's so much i did use in there that's why this is empty right now because i've already broken into that i've already taken stuff off there I've taken almost every flower off here and two cute little owls. I've used three hearts off there. I used two strips off that. Uh, I used the top little strip off there. I've used three things off that. <laughs> Pretty, isn't it? And I've used two words off this. How gorgeous. I love it. Um, let's see. Oh, this is cool. I never use rub-ons. But I saw this, I believe now this was Scrapbooking Oasis as well. Aren't these amazing? Like, check this out. This is from 49 and Market, which is a very new brand to me. That's where those, that's where these funky things are from starting to really like their stuff but check this out these are so cool I could see these being used on a cool boy page or again a Halloween page because they look like messy messy stuff here check it out 
really cool. I cannot wait to do that. So those are very cool. And what else? Uh, back to Michael's. I have had these before. I find them so darn beautiful. And I, th I know I used a coupon on these. Aren't these pretty? Look at them close up. They're like realistic looking shells with a little shimmer and a little bling. Just gorgeous. And look how beautiful this looks together. So I got these. This is my second time buying these. I am in love. They're like this epoxy um, feel. Just stunning. Like that is really nice. And it's recollections. But check that out together. And then pair it with these absolutely gorgeous Recollections Puffy Alphabet stickers. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. My allergies have been so brutal. Try pairing allergies, asthma, little bit of anxiety, and slap a mask on that. It ain't fun, I'll tell you that. So I hate going out anywhere because people look at you like you have 10 heads if you sniffle. So anyway, back to this. <laughs> and not Corona. Look how pretty. This is going to look amazing together. And then look at this. These are also recollections. I can't believe I have never seen these before. However, they are not new. The date on these is... Okay, so 2019. I mean, I've been to... So there it is, 2019.05, spring of 2019. For heaven's sakes, I've been to Michael's a million times since then. I had never seen these because I know I would have wanted them. But look how nice that looks together. So all of, oh, this just makes me happy. Look at that, perfect. So that's that. And the last thing I just wanted to show you, oh, I should have mentioned some of this stuff was Karen's Creations. Karen's Creations here in Wyerton, Ontario. Um not scrapbooking oasis sorry that was the other one that i just ordered from so karen's creations should get the credit for most of this stuff and two scrapbook friends um but look at this at karen's creations i will tell you i spent it was maybe 70 dollars i don't even know maybe 60 and they sent this beautiful little freebie. Look how cute. She cuts out her own stuff on her Cricut. So this was a thank you. And I have to say, I won't mention the name, but at the other place, it was like 200 bucks. Not even a freebie. Just saying. Not trying to diss anybody, but like customer service, like things like this go a long way. Don't you think? I think I'd like to support stores like that more. Anyway, guys, that's all. I'm going to put this all away where it should go. I'm going to start playing with this stuff. And I will be back with a quick, quick. Is it ever quick? We're always, I'll, look at this, 18 minutes already, for heaven's sakes. I'm so sorry. But I'll do another one just on the paper that I got. Um, and then I'll leave you alone. So have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I wish you well. Bye, guys.